There we go, and... Okay, I... Okay, what the hell, I thought... <laughs> oh, oh, wait, I... Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be so a mighty here. Lieutenant Rakir at your service. Who just went missing, and oh, there they are again. <laughs> <laughs> as well as Rom, who is currently ordering food. So, yeah. <laughs> welcome back to Alien Isolation, where, well, we're not playing it in isolation, so... <laughs> okay. Let's continue where we left off. And... Not a new game. Continue game. <laughs> uh, for anyone watching, this game is currently on sale on Steam along with the DLCs. I'm playing the GOG version though, so we'll have to double check if they're matching or not. Okay, last time... Uh, yeah, the... We are not alone here. Far, far from it. And... Okay, so that... <laughs> uh, are you twins? You look like twins. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to be that offended by it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's one way to start a stream. <laughs> okay, that, that explains the weird footsteps I heard last time. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell if it was... A working air. Uh, uh, it w I couldn't tell if it was a synthetic or if it was the alien, but yeah, just <laughs> a pair of twins walking in. That would explain things a bit more. Okay. Oop. There's something there for a second. Okay. Yeah, we need to get out of here. So yep. let's just get. Yep. And I have. Oxer double check information about aliens of late. Oh. And I know go to remember, remember Propolis as I got to see the scene. Oh, it's not a cutscene. Nope. Apparently, first time he could see the acid blood was from the face hog in the first movie, and he went through all the way to the third floor. Yeah, when they tried to dissect the thing. Uh, more of the damage was already it done. Off. No, no, they, okay. it was doing them to, to get it off it. They realized they, it had acid and it just... Yeah, that little splat was enough to just cut through. It, remember, people. Oh, free so floor does sound too much. Remember, it's a damn spaceship. Yeah. And each of those floors are probably damn thick. Okay, there's already an alarm going off, and there's something in the vents already. And again, what is with this place just openly advertising ammunition? Okay, either way, we need to head out of here. I don't okay, know. It, it was in the 80s or something like that. Ooh. Welcome back, Rom. No, wait. Uh, alien one. It was the 70s. Wait, what? Yeah, I think the first, I think the first Alien movie came out in like seventy something nine, I think. Uh, seventy one or seventy two. Seventy one or seventy two, yeah. So the early seventies. This was back when everybody thought the future would still look like, you know, cassette futurism as it's known. Yeah. Also, I actually, Drakir, fun fact. Uh, I have, I have a uh, Alien Colonial Mar Aliens Colonial Marines because I am an idiot. <laughs> and that game also has a bunch of different uh, looks for the xenomorphs. Oh, hello there. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, are y'all gonna shoot me? Anyone else catch that? Yeah, they're probably gonna shoot you. Back off. We don't want to see you again. You and then, okay, yeah, they don't immediately go hostile. <laughs> oh dear. Upboard. Okay, I got actually. I think I have a better picture for my marine. For if we update this, because I at least want to be armed. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, uh, the... I would wonder why. And uh, I, 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 somehow, I don't think Rob has noticed anything yet. Like what? The fact that there's the. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> also, if you. <laughs> If you try chewing my fucking head off with your second mouth, I'm gonna shoot you. 
<laughs> It'd be more like a headbutt. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> to, to, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, this game is now on sale on Steam. And yesterday, I, I think it was yesterday or the day before, G-Man Lives, a, uh, <clears throat> a YouTube reviewer, posted a video about just him reviewing a bunch of alien games. Yep. Okay, why the hell are they all just batched up there? Can I just uh, go by okay. without... Be no, they'll see you. Nope. you, you. Call that... Run! No, no, the, not the red or the green. Okay. Try throwing a noise. Actually, don't you have anything in your, your inventory to distract them? Probably, oh. but I, oh. I wanted to see if they even just work. They they let us go just before. They only uh, let you go oh. because you walked backwards outside. And, Wait, and did this happen again? Let's see. Stand clear of the. Uh, Hello, Humpty and Dumpty. Are you gonna kill me? What the fuck are those two guys, and why are they clones? <laughs> Cowards! Okay, in their defense, uh, Amanda does have a revolver on her hip. Also, you they know, you look like a xenomorph. That's also true. It was a fun fact. Uh, the both of us, he knows uh, for they were part of this. Maybe they were designing this more. Yeah, what we have on me at the moment. One of them was to have the back port and my face. Then we, then he commented that I had three. And it looked like I had a, a phallus at my neck. Which, um, I mean, it is. It is an H.I. Tiger Vapor based design, so. Yeah. 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 I was just to say that. Here's the thing. After the first stream, I went to bed. I did watch a video. And the painting the scene was in Beast Ford actually had a phallus neck and a phallus tail. Yep. It's almost oh. as if A.G. Geiger had a theme. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, do we really need to... No, wait, we need to not... Yes, we please. need to go in a completely different direction. So... Either that or find that. something to... Oh. Yeah, also... So I had learned about aliens uh, uh, recently, or relearned, that is kind of terrifying, which means we definitely want to kill this uh, alien here. Yeah, speaking oh, of... Son! Oh. Hi, Greg! <laughs> well, that's a you fucking named... clip. <laughs> you named him Greg? <laughs> Anyways, in GOG, the collection edition is at 7.49, which I think means it comes with all of the DLC. If, the, if you bought that one, then yeah, you have all of the DLC in GOG. Oh dear. Okay. I, I, I thought I heard the fucker get out of a vent there. Uh, but since I didn't see anything on the motion capture, I thought he'd, he wasn't here. Guess I was oh. fucking wrong. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, you gotta... You, yeah, that's the thing, it's not like the Colonial Marines motion tracker, which can at least track anything, even if it's incredibly pointless. It's like... You have to literally hope it doesn't fucking get you, because you're also running it on, like... This weird fucking wind... Makeshift... Uh, Game boy S thing. Yeah, and it's fucking going around in the vents again. Oh dear. Right. Hey, yes, uh, what I was to say is, one scene was it dangerous enough. However, where is we get? No, wait. Back to fucking. Didn't we just get in the tram to save to get in? Yeah, so di it's to... different trams to different places. All oh, right, oh, it's dear. a space station. I forgot. Uh, what I'm trying to say here, people, is the problem. Uh, the, uh, I know Xenos is dangerous. One is dangerous already. However, here's the problem with one lone Xenomorph on a giant spaceship. The people. Yeah. Besides uh, the obvious. Yes. It, 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 it gets worse, Hill. It gets worse. It will escalate. If that Xenomorph is alone uh, for too long, 
without any of the scene moves, it will transform. Yeah, I think it transforms into like a queen or something if there's only one Xeno. Correct. That's what the point I was getting at. Ah, hello, this Samuel. thing is here for too long. Oh. Fun fact, uh, the synthetics from this game, you can actually... will ki will attempt to kill you in Aliens um, Fireteam Elite. Oh dear. Because I think Wei Yu bought Seeks in after this shit show. You stay with her. Of course. Also, that's scene. What if this creature shows up? Hide. Hide. Security breach detected. All transit shut down by the Apollo. Great, now we gotta override the AI that's controlling this ship. Well, she's dying. Yep, she got clipped by debris while was out in at an EVA. Yep, EVA. We are. Which is well, oh, just shit. we're getting like a a glancing shot of a glancing shot, <laughs> because in space. Yeah. Okay. Well. Also, uh, got remade Rom. That's my rank. Yeah. Hey, look, a safe station. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, well, we are our first jump scare by the freaking Xenomorph in now. That Actually, makes three total. How many got jump scared? I didn't. But then again, I also played White Day, a Labyrinth Name School, and that had a lot of jump scares. Some. Pretty certain I'm out of jump scares by now and it's just focused on annoyance. Okay, so, so far... Zero on Rome, zero on me, and three on Helion. Let's say, so you named it Greg? But the, I think I named it first Harold. Great, so he's Greg Harold, the Xenomorph. That's a brilliant idea! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> also, more horrifying facts. There is uh, rhino and bull xenomorphs. Hey, yeah, yep. I remember those being a thing. And here's the terrifying thing. The bull one is immune to gunfire and rockets. Lovely. But not fire, lucky enough. The rhino, however, is immune to fire and gunfire. But that rocket. Unknown, actually. Yeah. Actually, here's and a funny thing, if I remember correctly. Also, that's probably not good. Here's a... I need a doctor. Hello? I, I need a... I can't hear you. Hang on. I gotta, gotta turn on the, the speaker thingies. Hang on. Come on, let's open the elevator for you. Okay, at least it's, this is safer than out there. We think. Uh, it's what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Uh... Oh yeah, the alien in the, the third movie actually came out of a dog. Yeah, that's where those runners come from, I believe. If I remember correctly, the one in... Hang on, I gotta look this up. I think the sec... the ones in the second one... okay. See no more. There's variants, so if I remember correctly, I gotta look this... I gotta wiki... I gotta wiki this shit up somehow. Yeah, yeah, and some of them are of them. from. Yes, some of them are probably cannibal, and some of us are from crossovers. Like, Scene of Elephant was from Yacht Dread. I can't yeah. say I'd be surprised. And Alligators. From Batman. And hello, little Yes! Hey, Jess, how are you doing? <laughs> well, I hope. You, you missed me getting. Jump scared at a perfect time by the freaking xenomorph showing up just as we were mentioning it. Like it fucking hurt us. Actually, I would not be surprised at all if this game uses the, you know, <laughs> uses, uh, the mic. Uh, yeah, I, 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 for, right. I think that was it before, but I don't know. There's some of these games that did that. You're going robotic. Either. Testing, testing. No more. Still. Um, if I remember correctly, I, 
I think one of the main reasons this fire works against the Xenomorphs is because it only cooks them within their own carapace. Okay. I might be That's bullshitting though. I'm trying to remember a thing. I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help, and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator, and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. Actually, I mean, so I became the Xenomorph. Yeah, the ones I can remember off the top of my head are like the big tank fuckers, the runners, and the Predalians. Oh, oh you mean the Crusher? Hmm. Not sure. Hmm. But they have a few tanky ones, like the Rhino and Bull. And I think even the Crusher. Running a lot of scrap we can't use. Let's but yeah, after watching uh, was everything Wright's video of uh, him ranking them, it just confirms to me even more, don't let Xenomorphs anywhere near a zoo. Yeah. Yeah. And we just said that, and how much you want to bet Whale and Yutani is thinking, you know, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should put animals near xenomorph eggs and see what happens. Not good. There's even deer xenomorph. I'm not okay. even really surprised. Okay, so the one from the first movie was a drone. Yeah. And I think since this one's taking the whole thing from Alien Isolation, yep, yeah, it's a drone. Yeah, drones is what um, you get with uh, when they infest humans. Yeah, drones are humans, and those are the ones that attack on. Uh, there was a lot of them in in the first in. There's the one in Alien. There's the one here. There's the ones in Aliens, which there's a lot of. There's a variant with the domed head with a sort of human skull. That you can see through it. Oh, and that's. The... I think that's most of them. Just you usually don't get the, uh, a proper angle to see the skull. Yeah, but uh, in the case of the dome head, the uh, skull's much e more easy to see. The rich head variant is the one from Aliens. You can. St it still has the human skull, but the back of it is a lot more rich than the one from uh, the Aliens. Okay. Yeah. There's no other way around also, here, so where the hell do I need to go? If it, I think if I remember correctly, one of the reasons they changed it was a mixture of wanting to update their design for more of a war thing, and also because the dome on the original alien costume was a lot more fragile, so they changed okay. it to the rich design. Is there supposed to be a key card in here or something? I found an ID card. Yeah, it makes sense. And also, the first one uh, portraying the alien was a very tall person in a suit. I forgot There's the name already, sadly enough. There's Praetorians. Which I think are the ones that attack. Uh... Okay, there's Praetorians. There's, which I think are the ones that are like below the queen. Probably. Or I guess in one case, the empress. Well, apparently the empress is just an evolved queen. Why the fuck not? Yep, of course, that's uh... him. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, strangely enough, Aliens Colonial Marines has a four player co op mode. Yep. Okay, because seriously, where do we need to go? Uh, I know we have to get to... Okay, he said something about... I think he meant downstairs to go and get supply medical supplies. 
That, okay, that's how, okay, emergency overrides. Duck. Keep moving. The area you're in was for our more unstable patients. Those who had trouble adapting to deep space. Try new cases. Don't worry, they're all long gone. No, no, wrong way. Hey, who knows? Maybe. I think I remember there being a shotgun in this game, and I really have something to say about the shotgun in this game because I'm reminded of a thing from the original Aliens movie. Okay. It's also Aliens vs. Predator if you want to, you know, play a good game where you play as a colonial marine that isn't, um, Aliens Fire Team Elite or Dark Descent. Yeah. Mm. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, there was an Easter egg about, uh, the Xenomorphs in, in Predator 2, if I remember correctly. Okay. Like, on the, like, there's a bit where you can see the trophy cabinet on the mothership near the end of the movie. And you can see this skull of one of like the xenomorphs right there amongst other skulls. It is, is it, that, that is, uh, there is one in the first Predator movie, yeah? That's... No, the second, the second movie. Okay, in one of them at least. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're done. Uh, come on. Okay, there's drones. I really would like to be... Can we, can we keep quiet when audio is playing, though I'll have to restart this because the fucking doc talked over it and now we can't get subtitles? So, sounds like our doc did not play well with the others. That's right. Along that corridor. Okay, that's probably him, since his op well, his spot is right over that way. Okay. There. Um, this thing. That thing and that. Okay. You're there. That's Morley's office. The passcode should be in there somewhere. Why does he have? <laughs> Why does he have casino uh, chips here? Well, I mean, it's a it's a spaceship. There are probably some people that got bored and played chips. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. Low on meds. Dr. Lingard, we need more supplies of mood stimulants up here. We're getting really low, and it doesn't help that Kuhlman you know, seems to be handling them out like candy. Log show, he's been uh, he's been to the dispensary 16 times this week. We need to start rationing medication. Sevastopol's people are only going to need these more and more the closer we get to shutdown. Can you talk to Kuhlman? Find out uh, where these prescriptions are going. Okay. Hospital quarantine. Okay. One seven zero two. We did. We didn't find where that other code was usable. I'm just trying to find out what that is. You focus on finding that keycard. Shit. Oh great. 
Uh, da, 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 medical activity entrance, primary care, not limited to Martian senior staff. Okay. Outpost of progress number three. For better or worse, the right to bear arms uh, follows us in, you know, followed us into colonial space. Alone, vulnerable, and light years from law enforcement. Who could deny or worry uh, just a way to defend themselves, their ships, and their families? The flip side of this argument is Sevastopol, where gun crime is rampant. Endlessly turning circles in a neglected, <clears throat> in a le neglected corner of space. Its people are downbeat and uh, disconsolate. Or whatever you said it. Those who could afford to leave did so years ago, abandoning friends and neighbors among empty stores, creaking systems, and forgotten dreams of the deep space economic boom. Sevastopol's people feel deceived, tempted here by corporations that refused to recognize the deep space bubble was about to burst. They are angry, desperate, and incredibly divided. Recent and recent colonial martial clampdowns on the black market have increased resentment. Every day it feels as if the station is edged a little closer to freefall. Okay, nothing else here. It... And yeah, something breeds containment. And hello there, Malice. How are you doing today? Uh, where is that damn key card? They said collect bonding agent on the table. Yeah, it's some... we have enough of that. To the point that we can't have any more. So can we... Okay, we just quickly make one of these. Okay. I I like that I like that little Star Trek sound. Okay. Okay, even if the xenomorph isn't here, all of this noise is going to attract it sooner or later. Okay, but where could yeah. that stupid card be? So we've got the code. Okay. Now we so need the actual runners. card. Okay, so if I remember correctly, there's runners, there's drones, uh, there's the eggs, there's the queen, the praetorians. You do all that is about uh, 120 types of xenomorphs, right? Something like that, apparently. From various games and comics. Greg? Hey, hey. Hi, Greg! Oh, great. All we need is medical supplies and the flames are, I guess. Nice to have fire. Does that connect back to here? No, he's in a separate room there for now. Okay. Uh, don't think we can save with it that close. Not unless you want to get impaled midway for a save. Which I believe can happen. Uh, is there remember something disturbing being about xenomorphs? There's multiple things, so pick one. But there's tons of that, but... Apparently, they will intentionally scare people just to get the adrenaline and the blood moving. Go oh, great, to make the prey more tasty. <laughs> but that, and apparently, is also helpful for the incubation. Oh, great. That's a dead end. So, yeah, but you do get face hugged. <laughs> it has a. Uh, can steal more of your genes and uh, create a better. Uh, probably even faster e assault. And also. Okay. that everyone uh, something else. Without uh, the Ubi morphs. The eggs. They are alive! Fuckers. Yeah. Fuckers in the corridor right next to us. I'm not sure if they can actually hear. Uh, you know, you say that, and usually what happens is the thing hears you. Oh. 
I don't know if it can hear the little doors opening. Okay. The heck is that traffic cone here for? Construction work? Yeah, let's hide from our problems. All right, that was the season. Nope, okay, maybe I should share this with me and not being hunted. Probably. Stick too long in one spot, it is going to find us. That was a silent box. Okay, it's now in there. Okay, this is a really confined space with this, actually. Okay, I get the feeling that, that stupid was... card is somewhere in here. Or, actually, no, it ne Come on, it's... <laughs> maps point. I'll be right back. All right. Sometimes its footsteps are just so freaking ooh soft. And we have a new follower. Thank you, I'm grateful. I, I, I'm going to presume that the stupid thing can hear the mic. That's somewhat good for us. So bad since now it can just pop up anywhere. Oh dear. Well, maybe I can see really? this now. Oh, oh, come on. There. Give me that. Still in the vents. But I do know that there are two AIs at work here. A sort of director, a really macabre at the moment. A director that'll point the xenomorph in our general direction, but not our specific location. And well, the xeno AI itself will eventually track us down if we stay too long in one spot. OK, 
Okay, a bunch of ambient noise, so hopefully that'll make it harder for it to hear me talking. Charge pack. Do we have anything that needs charge packs? You? Oh, you need a lot of these. Um... They will probably need to use one of these. Oh dear. Oh. Was fucking close. The heck? How? How? Because for whatever means that thing sees, it has a rather limited frontal view. Okay, I think it's pissing off back to the previous area. Never mind. Yeah, let me hide. Vents, I think. So oh, intense. Oh. Uh, Morley, eight twenty six. Too long in one spot. Yes, this is not making much progress, but at least I'm freaking alive. We haven't seen a save point in a bit. Yeah. Probably good we don't have a save point here, otherwise risk of, you know, saving and getting stuck. just closed off my exit. Yeah, this bastard is a lot more fucking fast than we are. Okay, that's a bit of open time for us. Still locking this down just in case. 
Okay, now where the fuck are these A something somethings? Guess you go. Wrong button. ID tag, injector. It's right above. I think he just climbed down out of somewhere. Events, pipe bomb. Okay. Any updates on this? It's still somewhere in there. That's. Okay, it's gone quiet for a bit. There's a room over there, so yes, it's on the ground again, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, for lower. Of... <clears throat> I thought for a moment that vent was the xenomorph when I heard the sound. It's over there, then it's in a room we can't access yet. And yes, the map is pointing to there, but I think that's supposed to just point towards where we should be able to find where it's are. Right. Yep. Didn't see all out of use. Oh, it's for the shutters. Oh. I do think we have a sort of limited invisibility when underneath stuff like that at a distance. But I'm not willing to risk it. A26 was one enlisted. So I think that's where we need to go. Yoink, yoink. And. Oh, I grabbed something. Okay, so... that. Uh. No idea for. I think I. We saw that a split second. You can hear it stomping around. Yeah, they, well, you don't think that a game can get you tens, but then the game gets you tens all the same. Let me guess, it's scarier than you expected. Injector. Uh, can we use that to hide? Is there a button for that on the insides? No, we can't even get in there. Okay, A26 was the wrong spot, then I'm guessing. Okay. Oop. Wait, is that supposed to be for there? Or, wait, that that's the office we were in earlier. We need to find where the, he left his cards. The 
quiet is more disquieting than knowing where the fucker is. And this isn't going to open from this side, is it? Yep. And why do I get the feeling that it is on the exact opposite end of that that we need to be? Stomping. I'm sort of curious how much those bastards weigh. Nope, that was him scooting away. Wait. He's in the vents. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Back. Oh, that's it. That's setting you off the alarm at the other end. I thought the door would stay locked a bit longer. Fucking close. Okay, they're in the vents. to use a noisemaker. Yeah, and that was not the upset. It was more of me just getting tense, I guess. It... <laughs> okay, that was not going to work. Because the fucker has some sensors on the tail. Okay. <laughs> and how much do we end up need to redo? Okay, quite a bit. This place had such promise when I first came. That's right. Along that corridor. <sighs> All right. Well, now I can say this finally. So I'm being freaked about the overmorphs, besides they're actually alive. Yeah. They, when they send someone near, they aim the face hugger at you. Okay, now we can actually do this and have see what stuff's going on there. Have you found the passcode? Look, we'll need the physical key card too. Morley always kept it up. Find him. Yeah, we need to find where he ended up. Relax. I'm just trying to find out what that is. You can find it this time. Left, had to get food, got involved in a bunch of other stuff. So, who's fucking us over this week? Or did Hillian die again to the see no more? Greg's gone, and yes, Greg killed him, and you just missed it. Oh. I managed to dodge the fucker on a hair's width <laughs> twice, and yeah, then he, <laughs> then he just caught me. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, accidentally... I'm taking off my freaking shoes because <laughs> my feet are starting to tense a ton. Yeah, don't wear shoes when playing horror games. That's a bad combo. Uh. 
doesn't work with their boots as well. Ah. Even worse, what that means if you get really young skid and kick in reflex, you may break something. Why are you wearing boots while making a stream? It's a stream. Most people would probably notice if you just show up with no pants. Hmm. Because I just came from work and everything. Okay, that's fair. Okay, now I lost complete track of where the fucker is. Okay, he's over on our right. Yeah, uh, we say this with Rom, uh, Sherry uh, Hill. Uh, you, you remember the eggs, the Ubermorphs? Yeah. Apparently they aim the face higher at you if you get close. Yeah, that seems about right, given pain in the first movie. Yeah, that explains a lot why they have so, such a good accuracy. It's not the face holder that does it, it's, it's the egg that shoots them out. So if we ever wind up in a planet with xenomorphs on it, out of the three of us, who do you think will last the least? I don't think any of us are lasting. Yeah, but who's gonna be the first one to die, I mean? Oh, that's very conditional. Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, if I get lucky, maybe I get the die like Baskus and Gorman just blow myself up alongside a bunch of others, you know, morphs. How did it not fucking see me there? I, I, we are playing on normal, so I'm presuming it's. Uh, it's cone of vision is limited, but not that limited. Are you right, Hill? Now fuck these socks as well. <laughs> oh, that's why you make it sound like that. Okay, Gregory, where the fuck are you? There. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Well, you named it Greg, I'm calling it Gregory then. <laughs> Oh, God. I think it's oh, no, an event. Yeah, there's something terrifying with the Xenomorph. Uh, the artist behind the Xenomorph, which we all know who it is, Gagger. There's a reason, there's other reason the Xenomorph has uh, the head shape beside the base of being an artwork of its own. Is the hip? Most of its tongue is inside that crest. Uh. So he, he had to study a uh, biolog biology and biomechanics and all that. So basically, the entire head is beside a lot of sensors. It's also the thing that helps its tongue to punch through bone, steel, and windows. So that's basically its throat. Moreover. Oh, what, what tool compared to that, uh, basically like a nail gun, I guess you could say. Yeah. Except it doesn't fire away the nail. It just gives it a, a mighty punch. Oh, hello. Turn that on. Turn that on. Uh, door, vent access. Let's. Oh, not enough power for that. Uh, sedation. Turn the camera feed off. Turn these sprinklers off so we can turn that off. As long as it Maybe. has worse eyesight, or than you do, we should have. Okay, when it's going at a steady pace like that, it's in the vent, I think. Give me that. Okay, I 
I get the feeling there's going to be a bit of randomization with where Morley might be, where his corpse might be. I'm not sure, but I think that's semi-randomness with the alien. Again, semi. Morley, if you're dead, sound off. Uh, oh, Wait, oh that's why he's three that are assigned to him. 26, 29, and 21. So we have to go to the rooms 26, mm -hmm. 29, and 21. Okay. With our wait, luck, it's of course the wait, furthest wait, one away. Up. It's mm -hmm. A, it's A29, C21, A26. Okay, so, yeah, it's, it's A29, I'm guessing. Probably. Oh, here's another fun fact. Don't throw a nuke on an alien infested area. Why? It hasn't worked before. I mean, it has, but I think they mutate or something like that. Yeah, there was that don't I mutate and then no longer have acid blood. They have Your blood. instant freeze blood. Yeah, why not? Basically, if it's blood comes on you, you're all we fall off from being frozen. And they also glow in the dark. Because of course they know. And they have a video called Irradiated uh, Alien. I vaguely remember having to deal with one of, with one of those aliens in the field of those aliens colonial marines. I thought that one was only in the comic books. <laughs> well, I think they were a different variant because those were more like suffering from some kind of radiation poison that made them explosive as well. Yeah, it has those as well. Oh dear. And of course, people, they're also flying aliens. Yeah, I'm not even remotely surprised. And thanks to the comic books, we also have. Symbols that infected demons and vampires. Oh, yeah, that was a thing. I think I heard that little. It does. I think it does that whenever it gets out of the vents. Oh, I thought someone was. Uh, someone was also was eating, eating noodles. And one of our cats is meowing up a storm, so give me a minute on this. <laughs> Thank you for that mental image. Meowing up a storm. I mean, given aliens, it is fitting that it's a cat. <laughs> are you telling me that the aliens' cats are trying to protect him? <laughs> Probably. Uh, I would not be surprised if they allow the cats to watch that movie. The poor things. And back it was Oscar, he was just meowing at the front door, wanting to be let out, even though he could freely exit through the back. Uh, come on, Oscar. Yeah, such is cat. Little nuisance where right possible. There. I know you just yes. realized. Uh, cat working as intended, ticket closed, and all that meme. Yeah, and I just realized... The horror if a uh, face hug gets to tigers and lions. Okay, now it's on the ground again. I think it figured out I was in the room because it was the because I locked the door. Up, open up, open up, open up. Ooh, microwave. It vented. It's being sus. Yep. Is this our man? He 
genius. There we go. At least get those batteries. Right. He's dead, but... Did... Did that one just die in, in the sleep? He's fucking around in the vents, so that's our cue to leave. Oh dear. Quick glance. Yeah, this is how we've been locked in recovery from days. Listen to the off got bullshit about three suns and its rises. Request to vacate the yeah, premises uh, in readiness for the commission. We have not given leave to abandon our duty of care. J. Green, anxiety, fractured tibia, suspected internal bruising, edgy, uh, responds well to little personal interaction I have time for. Uh, with more the attending, our chess games are a welcome break for us both. Minimal care, no insurance. Okay. Is this open? Be a bad idea. Uh, there, there, and there. It's gone to ground again. So I think it's somewhere behind us. You mean in front of us? Chasing us there for a bit. And yes, it can hear the beeping of this thing. You can probably also hear the camera swiveling around. That fucker needs to stop watching us every, at every opportunity. Okay, I'm, I'm risking this. Yes. I think they purposely made that sound somewhat like the hiss. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it makes me on edge uh, every time. You knew that thing was here. Now that's unfair. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Now the passcode. 1702, okay? Now let's get down to the dispensary. Of course, of course. A promise is a promise. I'm sorry for putting you through this. I'm going to step into the other room to punch the code in and prime the elevator. Then we can use the key card to take the elevator down. Okay. There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. Uh, do I tell you? Yeah, there it is. This is the right one, yes? Yes. Fuck out of here. Whoop! Uh, that fucker. Well, whatever he, whatever his deal was with the patients, uh, we don't know. The doctor is out. Dead. Yeah, I think we can start to soon have a jump scare counters for the captain <laughs> and. Uh, a counter for whenever he said the F word. <laughs> okay, it's screwing around in the vents. 
I feel like I watch so many horror games or horror movies. Like I have got the jump scares sometimes, especially when I was distracted by something else. Like, like having something play about FNAF in the background while playing or something, and forgetting I have in the background. Then I get jump scared because I forget it was on. But otherwise, I. Yeah, I usually get jump scared about something else. Like, oh, I don't know. Someone next to me. And we need to restore power to that in the first place to use it. And uh, Rom just gonna sit there, uh, act innocent. What? You're the ones that are most likely giving me jump scares of late. Well, yeah. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> It's kind of funny, for I'm the one usually accidentally jump scaring people in real life. For having silent feet. Oh, oh. hello. <laughs> okay, now we have a stick to, to throw at it. Don't baton. So you don't throw it. Poke with it. Okay, let's see. Martial investigation. Frank, I need to talk to you. I've got a body up here that's part of a martial investigation. Female, late 30s, chest wound. I have no idea how long martial raids will keep. Uh, will want to keep her up here, but this is a highly sensitive situation. I'm going to need your discretion, and I also need you to trust me on this one. Come see my, my office, Lingard. Okay. Yes. Environmental wounds. Yeah. I think we can guess how this thing got in, huh? <clears> hmm. <throat> Frank, your concern about San, San Cristobal's lockdown has been noted, but I assure you an evacuation is 100% necessary and only a temporary measure. My priority is the welfare of the living, while you seem to be more preoccupied with the dead. If you are worried about power fluctuations, morgue temperature, and the condition of the corpses, just adjust the coolant delivery system. Just get out of there ASAP, Lingard. Okay. Let's do that then. Good to know that we're basically saying, okay, you know what, fuck it, we're leaving. Well, oh, did not mean to... Nope. Okay. Let's hope that uh, they can't make use of cold corpses, or at least frozen ones. As far as I'm aware, they can't use them for breeding, but they can use them for eating and nourishing themselves. Yeah, yeah reminds me. I got to learn a bit more of the diet. For that, there's only ants they eat beside flesh. Raw ore. Huh. And tell me, what was the first spaceship uh, we saw the first alien in? Yeah, uh, miner or something. Yeah, oh, delivering yeah. about 20 billion tons yeah, of uh, ore, raw ore. Billion miss sounds a bit much, but still, there's a, a yeah, fuck I mean, tons. I mean, look at this. I mean, looking at the size of the Nostromo, it must have been a really big shipment. Yeah. And uh, it, it was growing on something after it escaped, and probably in the, it was too small to eat the humans and fail to eat the cat. So I guess it got to some of the ore and ate that. Good point on that, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's make another noisemaker. Yeah, and people, I'm aware a bit of die iron in your diet is good. The, the Xenomorphs takes that to a new level. Yeah. Hmm. We haven't found a use for ethanol yet. Well, there, we, there it is. Okay. Explosive device detonates on impact. Is lethal to humans and non industrial synthetics in close proximity. Will trigger when enemies are near. Okay, maybe if we set it as a trap, it can discourage the Xenomorph. It won't kill yeah. it, of course. 
but at least it'll hopefully send it packing. Wait, it said it may do if it's something against the synthetics and humans, but it did not see anything about the xenomorph. No, it's not designed. And I'm pretty sure we ever originally made it didn't intend for it to, uh, Hey, for it uh, to affect the alien war. life forms. Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. I think the bastard thing is here. I think we just lit out of the vents. It went into that vent and not that one. Yeah. And now I remember something weird. There's a tusked xenomorph type. Uh. Oh, for a moment I thought it was in the vent with us. Don't jinx it. Bless you. Thank you. But I was to say is a pet, the weird thing with the tusk it seems is they are tamed by the predators. Okay. Uh, as hunting dogs. Or were. I'm not sure if that's a canon anymore. Considering how Yaud shall love to hunt them. I wouldn't be surprised if they use some to hunt other xenomorphs. Probably, but the steel is weird. Yeah, the tamed ones could possibly be. Uh, They're alive, maybe? maybe? Yeah, but the question also be how did they tame them? Yeah, potentially ones that were considered too easy a hunt to honor with a kill. Uh, yeah. Moreover, here's the thing. They are called tusked xenomorphs. They are they are tusk and all, and all the small. But xenomorphs can't be tamed. That's the issue. Well, they found a way, it seems. Yeah, yeah, maybe it is just a subspecies comic. that they don't find satisfying to hunt. Yeah, still wonder how they tamed the, the damn things. Sounds, you know, queen and all. Nothing here. It requires a key card. Okay. Yeah, uh, clone mar uh, marshal directive. I don't care what you think you need to do. I want you uh, out of the. Uh, I know we're set up. Yeah. Uh, you know what we've set up in here. I'm truly sorry for what it means for the patients who can't be moved, but this is the only way. There will be no further warnings. Uh, I need you out of medical. We've set up shop in the habitation tower. Two five oh five. Uh, fighting over supplies. Got more injuries coming in than we have the meds to deal with, and my team is depleted, yet to say the least. Don't know how you'll break the lockdown, but if you need to access central wards, tw okay, 25 of them. Uh, it's been locked down. Mm hmm. Food hospitals throughout. Okay. Uh, gas network exchange. Uh, and we've uh, had one over here. 
Dr. Lingard, this is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Sikhs and chief executive. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't fall. Are we pals anymore? Oh well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshall Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find? I want in. No arguments. After all, how much does Waits really know about you? Not as much as your old friend. And I bet you can be understanding about black market med supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. Well, that was just unfortunate timing. Yeah, not only is a bit the loss of the day said that, but it did sound like a... Blackmail? Yeah, and... Strong really? at the absolute least. Yeah, and... Okay, I like this game so far, but... I have two names I want to criticize a bit. Yeah, Ransom, being a corrupt corporate uh, fuckhead. Yeah, like... But, you know, mayor corporations, so and that's kind of... At this point. Yeah, but seriously, that that's a uh, way on the nose. Is that even on the nose anymore with that name? Yeah, it's so much that so far up the nose it appears from the back of the skull. Dispensary is empty, message for lingered on her return. I've prepped the patients in the trauma ward for transportation as best as I can before Wade locks the place down. I'm going upstairs to the psychiatric in psychiatric ward to make sure there are no stragglers. The dispensary is now empty. Everything St. Cristobal had has to or has to offer in terms of first aid and medicine is with you or elewhere on station I hope you'll bring back good news okay so oh, the Langer so has the last we had the last so we need to find a dead guy yeah, that was fucking close yeah I would say I heard something and I did did uh, my confirmation is was right there was something over there again this does not freeze time. Uh. Oh. Okay, that was my first jump scare. Yeah, we were only saved there by the game being generous. And that's what I expected to happen to us early on the first one. Uh, well, I can believe this is event there. But hey, that's on fire. At least it can't jump out the... again. He might have. Uh, okay. Second episode, and I finally get the young scare on my uh, from the alien. It's on the ground. I think it was behind you. Okay, why is it still pointing to here? Ah, there. Oh, oh. Mrs. Lingard, senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to. I want to stay. I have been, I have been placed under duress with regards to my patient zero. And Ransom, Seekson's head of operations, he. He made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God. Oh, that woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Operating. So, operating theater, because we're bad out of ideas. Which is, actually, could you open it again? Where the hell are we? Uh, yeah. Okay, the, operating there's the theater operating is right theater there. over there. Up to the right. I get the feeling these were supposed to burst when we were to approach from this side. Risk because there's no cover here. Uh, 
and it's on the ground somewhere. It's blocked, thank you. It doesn't have eyes, there's nothing to flashbang. It might stun its ears. We have like a one in three chance that it will fuck off in a direction not going to kill us. Yes. Ooh, well, the dice worked. How are you doing, Captain? I think hey, you can guess. Yeah. Piss off, Gregory. I'm. I'm meant to be alive. <laughs> Tense but alive, unlike Amanda. Okay, where the fuck did all the way fucking back here? Okay. So... At least we know where we need to go now. We left. What I want to know is who the fuck is how the fuck did somebody jam a stun baton there? Yeah, it probably is the sensor in the corners or something. Da, 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 da. There. Okay, shove that in. Shove that in. Grab the last. Motorcycle outside. Oh. Oh, come on! The Xenomorph really likes to eat you. <laughs> like, seriously, they came the fuck out of nowhere. Okay, I get the I feeling get once we open, you know, we open these doors, it has, it can spawn, but I thought we at least had a bit of time. <laughs> Though me running probably didn't help. Okay. This is weird. Stay I have the explanation on my wish list, but it doesn't show up if I look it up. Okay. I mean, it shows up if I check wish list notification, but. So, why exactly are we doing this? Uh, remember the lady that's bleeding to death and the only person yeah. capable of helping her? Yeah, the, the trauma kit I get, but why are we, why are we frosting the corpses? I don't know a key. I mean, one of the dead guys had to have eaten something. Also, I can hear the scene more moving. Yeah, uh, Hill, I don't think the I don't think the Metal Gear strategy is gonna work against the Xenomorph. Maybe it wanna sit in the box? To your right. I think it's on the vents. Yep, when it's moving around... <clears throat> when it's moving around smoothly, it's in the vents. Oh, sorry. Bless tight. you. Thank you. Okay, we, we need... Okay, I'm, I'm guessing... I'm guessing this one stays shut unless we turn on... Everything. Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. I'll be right back. Try to not die. No promises. <laughs> That's usually also... my line. <laughs> there, so we don't have to do that bit again. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, also something, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, I got, uh, yeah, with, uh, yeah, since I work at a second hand place, I sometimes can get my hands on some, uh, some interesting stuff, and apparently, uh, you know those drawing pads or something? Uh, yeah, apparently, the electrician we have has just been tossing those out because he doesn't really have a way to test those, uh, those because he doesn't have a computer set up in his spots. Yeah, I guess you could you could probably just put up a laptop or something for that, but anyway, he, he's he been throwing those out whenever we've gotten them. Uh, so I I asked if I, could, if, if I could take one, I just had to pay three bucks for it at the... It, at the, uh, at the register. Uh, don't know if it works, but if it works, it might be useful with uh, any DS uh, yeah, any DS games we may stream in the future for touchpad stuff. If I can get it to work. And yeah. it, it can actually take those uh, inputs. Yeah, and as long as uh, certain company doesn't want to ban uh, video videos of us uh, using those emulators as well. Mm. Yeah, Nintendo, Nintendo has been Nintendo's been being an asshole on um, emulators now. I th I think some lawyer in their in their ranks has gotten a bug up their ass or something. We're so trying to prove themselves. Right there. Let's not set that off. Order more of that. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's at least saw me, but not enough to give chase. Can I actually look down at the bastard thing? No. Of course, now it starts having issues as well. Doctor is out. Fuck off. You with your pearly fucking whites. Come on! I thought it was. I thought it was pissing off already. You did try to hold your breath, right? Yes, but I, if, since it was moving away, I thought we could stop with that, but apparently not. Uh. Say what you mean about the alien. There's one thing you have to compliment them, them about. Being fucking persistent. Well, that too. But also, very good uh, dental care. <laughs> yeah, you'd think with how many people it must have killed, it, its teeth would have been bright fucking red. <laughs> Like a fucking Ferrari. It probably is, but here's the thing also about them. The drool. They always drooling. Yeah. Okay, it's an event. Okay, where's the next fucking save point? So, you alive still? Mm, no and yes. Did you die? Yes. <laughs> this is Lincoln. 
Yeah, the fucker came right up and yeah, I had to hold breath and lean away. But I let go too early, thinking it's well was already already there. If it crosses this point, will it set off the flames? Really? You can't take your fucking time out and stay out? Pro noise maker. Just don't throw it in the direction you're on. It's coming here. Back up. I think it's actively avoiding this little spot here. Because, the, because it's uh, there's a trigger set to cause that thing to burst in flame. Maybe I could trick it into running through there. Maybe it's hard-coded not to. I guess, okay, you can probably do that with a noisemaker. It's there. It's going behind the desk. It's leaving. It's still there. Yep, not exactly what I meant, but okay. Right under here. Okay, it's pissing off. Okay, now throw the noisemaker in the area that would show. There! Nope, it's there! It's coming! It's being. It, I think it is actively avoiding that trigger. So something about stun right over there. Okay, then we have this choke point up ahead. Yeah, that's the hiding spot that triggered. I think that's in this vents. Mm. Yes, it's in the vents. No two lights. And we need the key card. F we needed a key card for that. Oh, yes. Two. Okay, now if it spawns, I am going to throw a noisemaker just to see if it will trigger the flames or if it just goes right around. Dr. Lingard, this is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Didn't we just hear this? Yes, but Lingard, not in its entirety. Aren't we pals anymore? Oh, well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshall Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find. I want in. No arguments. After it's all, already where we need to be. Really know about you. Not as much as your old friend here. And I bet he wouldn't be as understanding about black market meth supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. Okay, so he was blackmailing. Pretty much. Okay. And uh, this is the other name I want to criticize. How do I hate use the names Waits? That's his last name. Yeah, but still. That's not a very practical last name to begin like. Wait let's here, say you do waits. your phone. Uh, what? Wait here, Waits. 
Yeah, but also like introduction, you say your first name and the last name. You, you will have misunderstandings. <laughs> now I'm reminded of a, a Benny Hill skit uh, where he's uh, putting up a sign for a therapist, only uh, he puts down the T-H-E and the rest he puts down below it, which reads the R-ist. I'm not going to speak more of that. You can figure that one out yourself if you think on it a bit. Oh. Uh, and then no. there's a version of that joke with psycho <laughs> psychotherapist. <laughs> yeah, people, but you make signs. Make sure you spell out the word properly and not split them in awkward uh, moments or in this case disastrous it's an event still the event is really pitter pattering around here I, I do like when it thinks that it's found me that it starts to just pitter patter like Old school, no, not, not Peter Pan, but it starts to just creep like do, 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 like the fucking Pink Panther is going off in his head. I think someone one has made that joke in one of the reviews of this game. It's not sure. I think it's it's sticking to the vents for some reason, and I, where the hell is this fucking keycard? And now you just made me imagine a pink uh, xenomorph. <laughs> That's a problem with the thing. With little panther ears on its uh, head somewhere. Oh, gods. Where is this fucking key guard? Nobody here, just a box. It's being sus again. Never mind. It hurt me. Bye bye, Greg. It's aircon. I think it's in the room. Hey, don't say sorry. Hey, can't sneeze. I got jump scared, but Rome sneeze. But that doesn't count. But it was for Rome. Oh, come on. I thought because it put up the prompt that I had to do it again, which immediately got me uh, okay so no holding breath or leaning back until the game fucking says so uh. molotov number level one okay i'll take that okay at least all that cost really that's the fucking i um also, I guess this is how the game prevents you from uh, just break speed running a bit by just sequence breaking. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it prevents you from sequence breaking by forcing you to go find the codes. I don't actually remember seeing a code. That's. I guess we'll see. Yeah, uh, also good. Uh, bless you, Rom. Since so they sneezed earlier? Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Okay, I am starting to get rather tired now. 
So, not, I'm not going to call it just yet, but we might need to call it off a bit earlier. Hmm. But at least let's try and get out of this hellhole. Yeah, what else we do have about 50 minutes remaining, but it's not too bad. There. Hmm. Wait. Cause of death classified. Okay. Oh. Yep. That must be uh, patient zero. But now need, uh, now we need to point. find a fucking key code. Or... I guess this is as good a moment as any. No. Nope. It does not trigger it. It avoids it, but it doesn't trigger it. I think we just saw a room there on load. So did you actually get the suffering games on GOG before they got removed? Yes. Okay. I would say I'm pretty suffering right now. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we had one of those as uh, extra games when we fin when or if we finish this game uh, early. Yeah. I want to end on, on the suffering. Praising, but you know what I mean. <laughs> You're free to take over if, from me if you want. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool with this kind of suffering. I mean, if you do finish isolation early and do the suffering, I want to also join for those streams. Yeah, the next alien stream you need to make sure you have the right Halloween outfit. <laughs> I mean, where's the, where's the stupid fair, code supposed to be? I mean. I gave Alien my picture of a Colonial Marine to use for this. Yeah, I just wasn't expecting you to show up yet. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll make a <clears throat> I'll make private uh, uh, ROM for next time. Yeah, no time for shower. For some reason, it just made me imagine uh, Private Rom Grog. <laughs> and I don't Seriously, know why though, where is this Grog came code? to mind. I swear to God, I thought I heard that behind me. <laughs> We need a key card, but for the key card, we need a freaking passcode. I'm pretty sure I've looked everywhere here. Don't tell me it's in that little shitty side passage. Not even sides. Also, since we have. Yeah. Thoughts. So. Oh, two. 
Okay, that's a... Hmm. At least it's the humans and other organics, but synthetics are very resistant to fire. Okay, a bit hesitant to use a, a bunch of resources for one of those, then. Ah, right, I forgot. I forgot the fucking fire. At least the entire area is now smoky. Or smell of smoke at the absolute least. Oh, right, it's, it can't be in there because it's blocked off. Okay, seriously, where's this fucking code? At this point, I'm tempted to. At this point, I'm tempted to look it up for where I'm supposed to find it. Wait, can you even pause the game? Like this, yes. All right. I'll keep it running just for the sake of it. I don't think Greg approves. <laughs> the t bloody timing. Oh. Yeah, I was just plain lucky. Ooh. Isolation. Operating theater key card. I'll probably point this in the right way. Oh, uh, I just remembered. Uh, they're apparently making an alien VR game. Oh, come on. I'm that, pretty sure that's that a VR version of this. Yeah, no, I mean a different game. Fuck off with your cookies and bullshit. Okay, now where does this fucking code? Alien Rogue Incursion. Rogue incursion. Okay. And for, uh, just fun fact, people. Disney owns the. Oh, especially being Marvel, I think it owns the rights to Alien and uh, Predators now. Yeah, I remember that. Now I gotta check if I have aliens. Security desk. Yes. I mean, Covenant, Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, Predator, Predator 2, AVP. I love how they got uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger to reprise his role as Dutch for uh, predator, predator hunting rounds. Yeah. <laughs> but as far as I know, Arnold is one of those few actors that's still uh, loved by people. Yeah. He did a few fuck ups and then sort of moved on from them. Yeah, like Hulk Hogan, who just keeps digging mm. himself deeper and deeper. Yeah, yeah though he's kind of unique. Uh, like, he went from being a bodybuilder to actor and to a senator. Yeah, but the yeah. funnier is when you realize that he was a soldier, but when he wanted to become a bodybuilder, then became an actor, and then became the senator of California. Yeah, Ooh, that's it, fucking close. It kind of feels like something from a movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm on my way. Ok, 
at the very least the game won't let you save if it's too close. And looks like Gregory is heading ahead of us. Oh. I completely miss that there's a vent open there. Hey, look at that guy. Maybe he has a code. He somehow has oh, a flare stuck up his ass. Can a flare distract the xenomorph? Maybe. Also, now the lights are failing. Yay. Well, at least you can use the flares to see. Yeah, and put up a fucking... <laughs> A fucking homing beacon for... You know what? Fuck it. Throw, throw, throw a noisemaker at the guy. He's gonna shoot you anyways. Just yeah, don't be deal with him with... Uh, Greg the Deep Kisser. <laughs> well, the thing is, any noise brings him over. So if he fires his gun, you're fucked anyways. Wait. Oh, what? What? Yeah, if, if, say, somebody fires their gun... Oh, it's not that. It's what he called Greg. Gregory? What What do you think the second mouth is for? Uh, I get it. Is, is this where we should say phrasing? I think. Is, sh 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 should we bunk him? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Good job, got a roommate. I'd laugh my ass up if S3 was actually where the... Any sensors? <laughs> wait, wait, can't we just give her a med kit of our own, like, just jam it into her and then just go back to wherever we came from to leave? Yeah, yeah, her wounds are a bit deeper than that. I mean, they have, I mean, at least to stabilize her long enough to make it back. Well, I guess we found patient zero. Yep. That seems about right. Samuel, Samuel. Wanna... I've got the meds. We're at the transit station outside medical reception. Ripley, we heard gunshots, and if we heard them, so did the creature. Just throw, you, you know what, just just throw the noisemaker at them and go the other way around. I want to check what's on there, but... Uh... They're standing too close to keep... <laughs> They're like that fucking asshole that just stand just within the range of the automatic doors. And uh, yeah, we know where the chest burster went. Mm -hmm. Foster, Catherine, 39, female, Crota, and... And the and Isadora? And mind if I try it? Go ahead. And Isadora. And Isadora, I think. I think it's yeah. Anisidora. Identified by the captain. Uh, case something blah blah blah. As a treatment classified, external examination. Classified, 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 classified. Tape off the scene. Off the scene and make sure it's not touched until Garcia comes in with forensics. Keep this quiet for now. I want total silence. Last thing this station needs is a panic. And one other thing. If I find out who leaked this to Ransom, I'll make them eat their fucking badge. He turned up, quoted seeks and privileges, and had a ringside seat for the whole goddamn mess. This is a serious incident. I don't need Ransom making it more complicated. Do you read me? Wait, up. 
Okay, now we need to fuck off over there. Oh, I just remembered something. Oh. Yeah. From Alien vs. Predator 2, actually. The, the movie, not the video game. You know the yeah. Pred Alien in that movie? Yes. Well, if it infests... Hey, get to know Gregory is not killing only us. Now run on the other direction. You're gonna have... I thought he'd be busy with him longer. Ugh. Ugh. Not enough opportunity for this opportunist. Uh, but yeah, you were saying? Uh, fuck, I forgot. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, it can actually reproduce using pregnant women. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I got reminded of that uh, from the videos I watched. Basically, it sort of inserts its mouth into the pregnant woman, and then the fetus she has is eaten. And Replaced. out of the pregnant woman come more xenomorphs. Uh. Yeah. Fun fact, I watched that movie on right around the time my mom was pregnant with my brother. So that was a bit of a surreal experience. Give me that. Give me that. Yeah. yeah. Fuck all this. We're at the transit station outside medical reception. Ripley, we heard gunshots. Yeah, I feel like that's not a good movie to watch when someone's pregnant. We didn't know about that your father or something. Over here. Now let's hope that Greg has a meet and greet. Close by, open the vents. This place is falling apart faster than we can say fucking xenomorph. <coughs> yeah, that's just some asshole. You can probably just whack him with the stun baton. Yeah, but prefer to do it from behind. Of course, he's going right where we need to be. Someone must know what's going on. So do we need to go through there or can we go around? We can go around. Okay, unless I absolutely need to stun a bitch. Oop. Uh, yeah, we don't want to be carrying a gun around here because a certain lawyer, a certain stupid lawyer, I should probably say, found out what happened. Huh? Ah, must have just been those weird noises the station makes. Sure, sure, must have been the wind. On your way! Don't make this hard! You think I won't do it? I'll do it. I'm not the only one hearing some kind of grinding noise, right? I can hear Greg fucking around out in his vents. And I heard some sort of whirring noise that's slowly turning into a grinding noise. I think it's, I don't know if it's one of my... I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't think here. It could be one of the hard drives on my PC finally giving up the ghost. Might or it be. could be the game itself, because whenever I take it off, I try listening to the hard drive, but it doesn't come from there. 
Nope, it's somebody on the, one of the upper floors. Oof. Okay. Maybe they have an axe to grind? Um, <laughs> Captain? Perception's a no go. You, 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 you do see. That's the only way through. Ripley, this is a public hospital. There has to be an evacuation procedure. The, yep, you do see there's an axe in front of Rome, right? Yeah, your axe. <laughs> yes. Are you insinuating that uh, I'm upstairs grinding on an axe? Maybe. Okay, now how do I set off right over there? Sap me the dick. I, I think that was a defy. Close enough. <laughs> Either way, he's probably not having children. To be fair, he's stuck in Sabbath. Also, if he did have a family, they're all probably dead. This is by way of a formal complaint to Station Medical. I do not want to be attended by an android, any android. I'm a senior citizen executive with a, a significant financial investment in the festival. I should be treated appropriately, by which mean I mean humans only. Yeah, well, you're a corporate drone, so you may as well be handled by an actual drone. Uh, Linger, Coleman, okay. You actually had dental. Uh, lingered attending sever uh, severe chemical burns to arms and legs. That's kind of... Ow. Right. Kuhlman attending brain damage caused by asphyxiation through manual strangulation. Nothing to do with... Really? Asshole. Hello, it's Lingard. After the incident, the marshals want us to rope up medical. They're bringing in a team to find whatever it was the patient was carrying. I told them it was fast, but they're convinced they can trap it. They've got nets. I'll set up a temporary medical center outside. You're in charge for now. Don't let Coleman sweet talk his way in. The last thing we need is him self-medicating with Marshall Waits around. Visitors are asked to refrain from smoking. Wait. Okay, does it can just move on its own? Now this place is probably haunted as well. In space, no one can hear you bitch about the god... In space, no one can hear you bitch about the fucking... ...company. <laughs> okay, so the vents... Ooh, dear. Hey, gentlemen, start your generators. And gentle ladies. As a gentle, start the elevators, I guess. And what is that? I think that's cooling. Hmm. It's like in order to make sure we don't die, we have to reset the whole fucking station. Still, this place is just falling apart. Yeah, we can literally see it out the window. I don't really see why we need the button mash here. But I'm, I get it, you need to put some force into moving that thing, but not that much. Oh, fucking course. And now we have to deal with Joe and Joe. Together yeah. they make Jojo. Oh, come on. Are you okay? Ripley? Okay, oh, dear. Okay, can between Baton and... Nice try, Greggy. No, wait. Throw, throw the nose, throw the noisemaker there. Hide, so this 
Sneaks and androids have to fight the xenomorph. I don't actually know if they go for it though, no, for the androids. Oh, they do. They, normally they would ignore the androids unless provoked. And we're probably gonna provoke them with the. With pro, we provoke them with the. Uh, you already pissed off. Nice maker. Yeah. And they I should have saved before freeing yeah, these probably. assholes. It's back there. Yep. <laughs> really? It's a fucking little dance. Wasn't there a second one, or did that one not get freed? Don't go under that. I know. Okay, so if it's his wasn't enough to warn you, it's just also just dripping, dripping, dripping. Mm, yes, no one to see there. <laughs> Very excited murder androids. Can we actually make one of these? But oh, we need a lot of charge packs. Hmm. Okay, I think only one of them got activated, it seems. Ooh, yeah, apparently this is a power plant. Small one, of course. That's probably at least to power the... Yeah, medical. level. So that the if main work. fails... They at least have this. <laughs> what is it with that stupid little dance? That to keep their artificial... Yeah, to probably keep the joints uh, fluid. And where do we need to go to blow this place or something? That's probably the front console. It's that probably. Okay, Baldi's Basics, brother. Fuck off. Oh yeah, I should check. I think they made more games of that guy. Yep. Really? Uh... Yeah, at least we have plenty of time for that. And now I just remembered something from the last stream. Oh, good. We broke the power system. There. Where are we to escape through? Through the locked door from before and... Where did he go? He walked Where's out. The... Okay, I actually thought he'd go... No, he's... Sensor... Okay, he's trying to restore power or something. Of course, of all times... Yep. Part of me wants to try and lure it under there, but... Yeah. I think that may I... work if you put a noisemaker there. Yeah, that they'll get him out and it'll lure him out promptly. So just wait until Greg gets a fucking napkin. Timing. 
I think for that, I think they actually need to. You actually need to go right underneath to trigger them with that. So you can skirt around it, but well, with the Joe there. Also, that's a lot of flashing. Uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> of course, I'm looking a way to prevent fucking epilepsy attacks, and then fucking Greg. Uh, but at least that shows what happens now. On all the way back here again. Uh, at least we know we can save over there, so when we go get over there again, we can save. If we can even get back here. But yeah, that's the main horror with this losing your freaking progress. Uh, I mean, there was a C station in that power room. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm right. Yeah. We, yeah. Just let, let's go to the there, board. and then we, we we save there, and uh, we might need to call it there then, since we won't know when we'll Same get one next. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh dear. Also, with you mentioning Joe, uh, you, you, you remember the topic we had uh, last three about the cup of Joe? And then I said, yeah, is it me? The fucking timing. We, yeah, were, we, were to we were just talking about it, then we get into an elevator, and there's a, a poster for fucking cup of Joe coffee. <laughs> As uh, in literally C U P P A J O E. Yeah, just after we talked about a person stupid enough to order a cup of yo from the SAP. And the SAP misunderstood the took uh, liquid fluids from himself. Can't get out. That's the only way through. Ripley, this is a public hospital. There has to be an evacuation procedure. Uh, we, we, yeah. we should probably clip that. So that one might be uh, more than 30 seconds. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Just hit it with a stun baton. Hit what with a stun baton? The guy yeah, who's the going to did... the... Yeah. I think I'm just going to leave him as bait. Actually, no, he went into here last time. You see nothing. You see nothing. Girl to intimidate. You see nothing. Don't no worry, you'll just feel a little... Oh, more for that they saw the dead body move. <laughs> Sends nothing on them. Right. Yeah. Plan when it said plans room, I thought more like fucking daisies or something or Medicinal plants. Oh, save station. Or em emergency save, I guess you should call it. Yeah. Yep. Yes, we want to overwrite. There we go. Would have been would have been even funnier if they had to if you had to use a freaking floppy disk for this. Okay. Um let's risk. Let's risk going until we find one of these again, just so we get through this. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing the Joe will only activate on 
the second of these. You did save, right? Yes. Yep. We did indeed save. Okay, so the, the Joe that's on your end, that's the one that opens up. actually whispers because shut the fuck up you're giving our position away and all that okay tin man moved fast if we shut it down or overcharge it or something. Also, Greg's on that vent. Come the fuck on! Okay, yeah, that, that must have started on. right, <laughs> right the moment I passed by. Uh, yeah. I feel like okay. you're not supposed to take that door since. Okay, yeah, I didn't even see that there was a fucking vent over it. Okay, uh, let's. Okay, let's call it there for the moment then, yeah. because I don't <laughs> think we can get to another one in time. Uh, I might need to start yeah, a death and, counter. Uh, Bing. Yeah, death counter and a uh, jump scare counter. I, I've been jump scared uh. once by Alien and once by Rom. <laughs> uh. I feel like we are up in four, five jump scares on heal, I think. Either way, I'll see if. Uh... I do have access to the... Actually, can I... Okay, so I do have access to these. Okay. Um, okay, that'll give spoilers. Okay, I do have access to those. Uh, last survivor. Okay, this is... This is just a, a test to just fuck around with, I believe. Ugh, pardon? But yeah, um, if we're left with enough time, we can try these, because I think these two are actually story DLC. This is just, what? yeah, see how long you survive. <clears throat> I'm good uh, for that. For now... Okay. <coughs> oh, yeah. Okay, for now, before we end the stream, of course, let's go look for someone to raid. <clears throat> so, let's have a look. There's the clip from earlier that I'll need to finish up. Might as well move it <clears throat> closer to where I actually have Twitch on this. I, re I need to get rid of so many freaking tabs on this. Okay, let's see. It's busy. So let me narrow this down to a few, preferably spooky ones. We have the Siren Ivy, who is playing Blair Witch. Then we have uh, Lashes Online with The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. I think we've heard of that one before, but I'm not sure. And Okay, it doesn't look like many people are actually doing spooky stuff at the moment. Uh... <clears throat> We also have Halloween, who is playing Frostpunk 2, which you could guess is some sort of horror. And Kikoski is playing Against the Storm. Any of those sound of interest, or shall I take a pick? Uh, Blair Witch. 
Okay, seems well fitting. Indeed. Okay, I think it's also been a um, long ass time since we've seen Ivy. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Okay, see small? you next time, Rom. See ya. <sighs> Slash raid and paste. And before we you know, start, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Malice. Thank you, Jess. And let's see, I'm not seeing any named accounts in the chatty program. But yeah, st still, thank you anyone else who may have been watching now or later. And thank you as always, Drakir and Ram, of course. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining and watching this madness. And yeah, tomorrow, maybe multiplayer. I'll see if I can get everyone together for, well, what we hope to do for multiplayer with Borderlands, aka Borderlands 1's uh, Dr. Ned Zombie Island, if I recall the name of the DLC correctly. But we'll have to see. <clears throat> In any case, on Sunday, we will, well, we would have been playing more Cyber Sleuth, but again, we're doing spooky games. So instead, we have The Dark Side Detective, A Fumble in the Dark, which, well, I think we're going to, we're going to enjoy, even though I'll probably need to keep a bit of a, a hint guide at hand to be able to figure <laughs> everything out, because I'm not smart enough for, for point and click adventure games. Well, we have been going well with uh, two heads for those at times. True. <clears throat> but yeah, for the moment, uh, let's get the raid started. Nothing to block it, okay. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, sleep well, and watch out for... Xenomorph seagulls. <laughs> and... I've got nothing this time, so until next time.